Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Um, Craig, aka Muck Modeler, is doing a dedication build to Doug Hensley, um, basically showing his appreciation for Doug's involvement in the community. And as you know, recently I received a, a kit from Doug, and I know that many others have. Um, Doug is a great guy, he's a fantastic modeler. I mean, you can see some of the examples of the cars that he builds. He's very knowledgeable about cars as well. I have to confess, I know nothing about cars. So on occasions, it sounds like he's talking another language. Um, but uh, nevertheless, it's interesting. Uh, I really love Doug's accent too. I could uh, listen to it over and over. So um, I thought that I would uh, throw my hat in the ring, so to speak. Uh, Craig said that if other people wanted to join in, then then why not? He's not making it a group build, but if uh, people felt that they would like to do a dedication build to Doug, then by all means do so, and that's what I intend to do. Um, now, I've got to be honest, I've been a bit selfish in my choice of uh, builds, and uh, it doesn't really kind of uh, match with anything that uh, um, Doug does, or um, I know that he was in the US Army and uh, it doesn't even touch on that. So I shall get the build and we'll have a look at it together. So here it is guys, as I say, a bit selfish of me. Um, the only connection that I can make with Doug on this build, um, obviously this is the Japanese Navy Submarine I-400 in 1350th scale from Tamiya is that submarines carry torpedoes and torpedoes are otherwise known as fish. Um, so that's the, the only real connection I can make. Um, I've been wanting to build this kit for some time. Uh, I've had it for 10 years possibly in my loft. Um, I've looked at it, it's very, well, it looks like it could be a complicated build. There are two sheets of photo etch um, now I don't know whether you can make it up here in this photo but there is a section of the conning tower um, where it's clear parts and what you're meant to do or one of the things you can do is leave that clear so you can see the seaplanes that have been stowed inside that section of the submarine. Now, I don't intend to do that, I like to build stuff uh, as they looked operational. The, I'll just show you the hull. Um, to give you an idea of the size. So here's the hull guys. Um, this is 13 inches long. Uh, it's possibly uh, the biggest submarine that I've got at this scale. As these things must have been absolutely huge. Um, so the intention is to build it for hull. The reason for that is um, quite a few of my ships are for hull. Um, the HMS Eskimo that I did for Joss, my wife. Um, I'm doing another build at the moment that I haven't shown you yet, uh, which will be full hull. A lot of the um, Airfix 1600 scale ships are full hull as well. The only one that uh, is, um, I think, waterline is the um, modern British destroyer that I did. The name's escaping me at the moment. Um, so that's the only one that's um, waterline and I think what I'm going to do is build most of my 1350 scale ships as full hull. Um, so a bit of a challenge for me, the, as you know photo etch recently has been a bit of a bugbear for me um, but I hope to do a decent job of this for you Doug um, in appreciation for what you do for the community um, and just being just being a, a great bloke. Um, so yeah, thanks ever so much for watching guys, it's Friday night so the weekend is here, um, I'm hoping that uh, you guys get plenty of bench time and just have uh, loads of fun melting plastic, look after yourselves and I'll catch up with you soon.